G'day, Nate Forty here. So why are there four helicopters circling over UCLA right now? Because the UCLA anti-Israel pro-Palestine protest and encampments are back and they've been surrounded by yellow tape by the police. So you've got four new helicopters circling right above UCLA and you've got hundreds of students who've come out to join the protest and the the new pro-Palestine encampment has been sealed off with yellow tape. Isn't this the day that UCLA Chancellor Gene Block is testifying before Congress about his handling of these uh, pro-Palestine protests? He said that he regretted allowing the encampment up because the encampment imposed a logical test so that people were asked if there was Zionist and those who was asked I were denied entry to uh, the, the heart of the UCLA campus and many campus facilities. So now you've got a new pro-Palestine encampment going up at UCLA, surrounded by yellow tape, lots of police on scene, all out to embarrass UCLA Chancellor Jean Block, who's testifying before the Congress today about how he's handling these protests. So you've got the news choppers out. I see four of them circling right now. And uh, hundreds of students are on hand. And at the same time, you've got this new report coming out that half of the applicants at uh, UCLA's medical school are incompetent. Because against the law, UCLA's medical school has been operating with uh, massive amounts of affirmative action. Because so, uh, of the affirmative action, half of the incoming UCLA medical school uh, team is just completely incompetent. And there's outrage uh, so much so that there are whistleblowers who are talking to the, to the media and uh, blasting the affirmative action. And half of the the incoming UCLA medical school students just uh, cannot pass basic competency. So this is going to be dominating the news. Thank you.
Wait, you want to see something crazy? Yeah, we got big sticks. <laughs> 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 G'day mate, 40 here. So the pro-Palestine protesters put it up in an encampment right in the center of UCLA and right away there was an enormous police response. Like more than 20 LAPD cars drove up. Uh, at least four police helicopters have been circling for much of the day. Some uh, fistfights and shoving and rioting. Uh, hundreds of uh, pro-Palestine protesters, just a handful of counter-protesters. So overall, UCLA students are incredibly law-abiding. Right, I, I was walking up West Boulevard and right, the, the stop, don't, don't walk sign was up, but there's no traffic coming in any direction. But uh, all the UCLA students just stood there and obeyed the law while I went skittering across. So UCLA students tend to be masked at a higher rate for COVID, right? They, they tend to be really law-abiding because a substantial portion of the UCLA student body is, is Asian and they tend to be more cautious. So when I went to UCLA, I was told UCLA stands for United Caucasians Lost Among Asians. So by about 2 p.m. the encampment was all cleared out, apparently. And then the protesters took the Dodd Hall. There's an interesting article in the LA Times about Cal State Los Angeles and how tepid the pro-Palestine protests were there because uh, students said most of us are working, right? We have jobs. Most UCLA students do not have jobs. But uh, Cal State LA is a commuter school. 
right? Most UCLA students live on or near campus. So when students have jobs, they're much less likely to show up for protests. But there's no fear. Right, everyone's pretty chill. People are getting ready for exams. So I'd assume that those who are most concerned about their exams are the least likely to show up to protests. A few hours ago, there were hundreds of rioters clashing with police. Now things have quieted down considerably. And this is on the day that the chair, the president of UCLA, is testifying before the House of Representatives. So the pro-Palestine protesters probably wanted to humiliate him. So we have a Channel 7 van. It's the top story in Los Angeles right now. So this is the most aggressive Jewish counter response to these protesters out of any major American university. And a devastating article in the Free Beacon today about how since UCLA got a work dean of admissions in 2020. Now that approximately half the medical school students are failing, right? Basic competency tests. But it used to be that 90% plus of them would, would pass. Now, thanks to massive affirmative action, like only 50% are passing. So UCLA is about the top public university in the nation. Right. Maybe Tai Tao, Berkeley, maybe a little ahead, a little behind. The, the strength of the schools in its graduate program. Now, journalists usually have absolute contempt for sanctimony, but that's only sanctimony of the religious Christian variety, right? Journalists have contempt for traditional Christian American sanctimony but they often tend to have great respect for sanctimony of the left-wing woke variety. So this is where the encampment was. It's all pretty chill right now. A lot of security, security moving around. And there's a long row of uh, live satellite TV hookups. So it speaks well of UCLA that they haven't closed down the campus. And I do believe the Chancellor of UCLA really tried to do his best to balance the rights of freedom of speech with the rights of all students to feel safe. And uh, he recognized where he went wrong. By once you allow the encampment, allow an encampment to block the free traffic and the free exercise of the student body, right? premier university like this should operate similar to a business. It is a business. And you can't allow protesters to disrupt a business. Now it's a public university, so it's not as easy to shut things down as a private university. There's KTLA, Channel 7 van. number one story in LA and the top three stories in the country right now this place here so 
So for all the purported anti-Semitism being whipped up on college campuses, right, I'm unaware of anyone getting seriously hurt as a result. The camera guys are looking for action. So I guess this is the center of the protest, right? They took over this building, Dodd Hall. But they're not trashing the building from all appearances. Like it is a largely peaceful protest. Boycott's work, river to the sea. So I wonder how long till they send uh, the police in to take back the building. I expect it'll be within 24 hours. But they have control of the building, all right? They don't allow it, anyone in who's not friendly to their cause. And obviously, public university can't allow its, its buildings and facilities and the exercise of its business to be taken over arbitrarily and operated on a discriminatory basis. It's a pretty chill atmosphere. So I expect they're going to put up a lot of signs. What's the sign? 
No testing. No testing. Oh, wow, you interviewed Jonathan Haidt. Yeah, yeah, we interviewed Jonathan Haidt. Wow, yeah. what, what's your name? Francis. Francis, Luke Ford. What's your last name? Uh, Foster. Foster. Oh, good yeah. on you, mate. So, yeah, thank you. We've, so we've uh, got a channel called Trigonometry. Oh, oh, Trigonometry. Oh, yeah. Um, who's the other guy? Constantine. Constantine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. huge. Yeah, you guys just blew up in the last year. Yeah, yeah. So we, we've, we've been all, all around the US. Been in two, been... No, no, my, my, my camera team are over there videoing that for, for background footage. So, yeah, so. Constantine gave a big speech at uh, the Oxford Union, yeah. was it a year ago? Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what we do. We've been going around just interviewing people. Alan Dershowitz, we've interviewed. 
Norman Finkelstein, like I said, uh, just other people as well. We're trying to create better dialogue, you know, between people who disagree. Because this way of just silos, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to talk nice to you. That you're doing some decent journalism. Yeah. Unfortunately, I right. grab the mic. Yeah. One second. One second. Hey, hey. Your job. Oh, you just. Yeah, it's to try because otherwise, you know, you know, I'm from Venezuela. Wow, Venezuela. Yeah, yeah. So you got out in time. Well, my Venezuela, my dad is English, so I spent a lot of time there. But I was in Caracas, exactly. So I saw what happened when things happened, or someone takes over. When were you last in Venezuela? 2005. So 99 Chavez got elected and 2005 is when it, the descent was really, that's when it really ramped up. And how long, you guys have been going about three years? Six years. Six years, okay. Yeah, 2018 is when we started. Okay. Yeah, so. You just get, keep getting bigger and bigger. And are you faculty here, sir? Are you faculty? What's that? Are you faculty at UCLA? No, no, no just a alumni. Interested alumni, yeah. Uh, major supporter of this. Yeah. There's many journalists here as there are protesters. <laughs>
fuck? What are you doing? You're confused! You're fucking confused! You're in America! You're in America, you idiot! You're in America, Bernie! USA, no, get that, get that. Yeah, you want to get that. Yeah, USA, 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 USA. USA. So I wonder how many of these uh, pro-Palestine protesters are in the cognitive elite. I don't think many of the counter-protesters are in the cognitive elite either. So I don't think the best and the brightest are spending their time showing up to protest.
there are about uh, five different uh, local TV news crews about to go live. You've got Channel 2, Channel 5, Channel 11. And here we've got uh, Channel 7. <laughs> and Channel 4. So two, four, seven, eleven. So the TV crews often have to bring their own security. Uh, there are about as many live streamers and journalists here uh, as protesters. We were just waiting for some violence to break out. I think it's really crafty for many of the pro-Palestine demonstrators to not wear bras. Very crafty. Distract the enemy. They'd occupied Dodd Hall, and then I, Marshall, went in about half an hour ago, and now they're all leaving. Oh, oh. 
So you were inside the whole time? What was it like? Did anyone mess with you? Yeah, they were all surrounding me. There's a guy with curly hair and a red shirt. He assaulted me at least five times. I said, they said, you're going to move or we're going to move you. I sat down and I said, you're not moving me. You're not moving me over my dead body. You're not going to discriminate based on my ethnicity. What's your name, sir? What? Oh, yeah. Good on you, mate. Five times. That guy there assaulted you five times. I was assaulted. Don't lie. Don't lie. You were, you were, you were also assaulted. Were you inside? What happened? Where? Here? Were you inside the whole time? Oh, no, much. They dragged you out? They say they're peaceful, but once they're inside, it's a whole different person. Exactly. It's a whole different person. You know Ada Ross? Who? Ada Ross? No, I don't think I love her. Was he inside? Oh, okay. He's Jewish. Oh, okay, cool. So why do you think they're coming out? Uh, that's the guy who's assaulting everyone. Multiple times I was surrounded before, and they said if you don't leave right now, we're going to carry you. I mean, I refused to leave, and thank God for the nice people. Like she was actually one of them. They came out 
came and, and helped me to their credit. And we're, still, we're still humanity. And we want to make it like this is a lot of on that note. Uh, on that note, there are agitators in this crowd that are violent. This is not a uh, peaceful protest. They have no right to hijack public land. All I was doing was exercising my First Amendment right. And I told them I respect their First Amendment right. Please respect mine. Do you think the protest is here on the America? 100%. Why? All I did today was talk to the American flag. I didn't say anything. This is what the main issue is. I didn't tell them anything. He was one of the people that was insulting me. And there's another guy, you, you can see there was a tattooed individual, a bold, white tattooed individual, and then there's another guy with a green backpack. Uh, those were the main, uh, uh, so, uh, they were the ones that sold me. They thought it was like they were going to push me to the ground, surround me, and they said, if you don't leave, I'm going to push you out of here. Uh, that's not acceptable. And I said, I, I believe in what Voltaire said. I may not agree with what you say, but I will defend it for like with my life, you're to say it. That being said, taking over public property, hijacking uh, public space, intimidating students, bullying Jews, that is not free speech. And you said the protest is here on anti American What do you think is causing this anti American sentiment? I think there's emerging of uh, communism, it's anti capitalism, it's anti. They, they view America as a, uh, as a uh, colonial state, and they see Israel as an extension. It's all part of a Especially violent revolutions. Do you feel like you still live in the Patriots nation? I feel like there's a lot of Patriots. A lot of people see my flag and say I respect what we do. A lot of people. More people than this is a, a, a vocal minority that the, when they chant, who's university? More university at school. It's not the university. It's all of them. It's all of them. We need to live together. You don't have the right to exclude people based on this. I don't know. I remember the point of the
The guy with the green sweater. Oh, and the orange vest. And the orange vest. He's an organizer. So why did you decide to come out today? I decided to come out because they're tri I like uh, they intimidate students. Yeah. And uh, I want I want to show them that they can't intimidate this Jew. And yeah. uh, I think the students. I remember when I was a student here, I didn't feel comfortable doing that because it's scary standing up yeah. to a mom. Yeah. As an adult, like I'm not going to be pushed around by these guys. And and if they want to assault me, I'm not going to fight back. But I'm going to show the world the bullies that they are. And they did assault. Me. And I have, it's on camera and it's going to come out in the next couple of days. If you want to see it, it's going to be on uh, X on Allen, A-L-L-E-N, for the number four, Liberty. Uh, that's how you can follow me. And um, I'm going to try to share all these stories and tag all the videos I was posted in. Uh, you know, I, I told them I, I respect the First Amendment, but taking over the public land is not the First Amendment. Why do you think there's been more counter-protests at UCLA compared to any other university in America? presence on this campus and um, if the police aren't now thank god the police are actually doing it but the last yeah. time there was these protests the police did nothing they watched jewish kids and uh and people that didn't agree with the messaging that they were putting out get assaulted bullied harassed chased off the of campus and i think that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way and again i don't advocate for violence but uh that is nothing more than the pendulum swinging why do you think only UCLA is there being a substantial counter protest? Well, it's, it was at U, I was at UCI as well. And okay. it's the same thing, same anti American sentiment. Right. Same, all I did was walk around with the American right. flag, and there's video on Fox News right. and assaulting me there as well. But why is there just, there's been more Jewish pushback against this at UCLA compared to any other American university? I mean, it has to do with demographics of the city and yeah. the university in particular. Yeah. Uh, you know, Jews are, are only 15 million across the entire country. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them are centered in New York, Miami, and Los Angeles, so obviously you're going to see uh, uh, more resistance where there's higher population centers than Jewish people. But they didn't push back at in at Columbia, like at no other, like right. at other highly Jewish areas, they didn't push back like they did at UCLA. Like UCLA, they fought back. I think, I think part of that was uh, the video, actually, of me that went viral of. Uh, of them surrounding me, pushing me, and it totally, it reminded a lot of people of uh, the, the University of Vienna uh, in, you know, in, in right. World War II. Uh, 
of, you know, that's, and, and also in the 60s with black, when the blacks were starting to get integrated into college, right. it, it brought a lot of those memories and imagery back. And I think people said, that's enough. If the police aren't going to do you, know, you have to remember that the police in a lot of these other places stepped in and took care of it. Yes. Uh, over here, they allowed the, yes. the patients to run the asylum yeah. for, for almost a month and a half yeah. and then, yeah. uh, which was unacceptable. And I hope lawsuits follow. Yeah. Yeah, because they have every right to, to speak their mind. They just don't have a right to stop access uh, exactly to I campus said. for exactly everyone what else. I said. Exactly what I said. And they have no right to assault people. Yeah, they have no right to assault people. They have no right to stop people using the library or exactly. walking exactly. through campus or exactly. to impose some ideological test for whether or not you can go to the... Exactly. Like whether or not someone's a, a Zionist shouldn't exactly. have exactly. anything to do with if they can use a library or walk exactly. through campus. And if it was any other race or ethnicity, right, right. I think more people would stand up. But because right. uh, for, for whatever reason, right. um, you know, you know, Jews, you know, Jews don't get that kind of attention. Um, maybe it's because we're only fifty million or, or whatever. But uh, over my dead body, we're not going to do that to this church. People aren't used to Jews being physical. I think that's some of it. When you they, say Jews being physical, what do you mean? Well, we don't typically fight with our Correct. fists. We Correct. fight with words, Correct. with litigation, with litigation stuff exactly. like that. We don't typically, exactly. you know, exactly. punch people or, and, and, you know, we don't show up physically and, put, and, and say, here I am. Hey, fuck this shit. His wife, do you know that you did the hand job? No. Break it up, break it up. <laughs> 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 I went up to I was here taking you back. 